to the next session we have another veteran member to say <laughs> many of you probably know her by now we have taiba taiba is personal branding coach taiba is a storytelling coach yeah thank you so much ranjit and thank you for your comments i know you're not able to unmute but you are constantly providing feedback so yeah awesome malka emotional rear fighter thank you ranjit so taiba is a personal branding coach she was one of my earliest mentee i think we have been associated for almost four years I'm, if i'm not wrong and i have seen her journey i've seen her grow from just a budding blossom to now being a full-blown coach helping so many people across the world and that's why i reached out to her to say do you want to talk about something which is relevant in this era of personal branding and as you see is so graciously graciously accepted that so let's welcome taiba mahmood with her topic which is be seen over to you taiba thank you so much haritosh for your valuable words i really appreciate all your words so this session i want to keep it very very candid and uh, interactive so if we can all interact a lot i used to have a channel called talk with taiba and i'm going to imbibe that once again guys please talk with me i love talking <laughs> that's why i named my the, that channel as talk with taiba so be seen when you hear the title what comes to your mind i want to know from you what what comes to your mind your title of a talk to uh, talk with taiba you were talking about this title that i have shared be seen what what comes to your mind when you hear the title be seen so we all have a inner urge to be seen to be heard to be acknowledged to be loved to be cherished so that's what you're talking about i think that yeah. how you are to be seen in the world around us thank you thank you alkaji for that so anyone else would like to give it a shot what does be seen uh what it what impression so, yeah uh, i think be seen uh, implements the idea that in today's competitive world for like for one thing you have so much competition that you need to stand out so be seen is um uh, like a replication and uh, idea of that to stand out among others so that is what i think it is yeah yeah thank you so much anushka for that answer okay so we have uh, amazing answers from the members and be seen is actually what these members have shared be seen is all about you know how many of you uh, are currently coaches or planning to be coaches or experts at some point of time we have two coaches here anyone else who is planning or is already a Ranjit coach is a coach i know rajesh is also a coach okay awesome 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 so being a coach do you guys sometimes feel that so many trainers coming out you know with every few months every new month now so early it used to be once in a new year you will get a few new trainers but every new month here in this industry some new people coming up and they're all bright and brilliant in their own ways but would you all agree with me when we start our journey as a coach as a trainer as an expert the first most important or the most defining moments in uh, our career is being actually seen heard by our target market do you agree that being seen is actually one of the most important things and uh, i believe you know what being seen uh, okay one more question to all of you when you hear when you hear the word sugar what comes to your mind when you hear the word sugar do you get somebody's name in mind what do you get in mind i get diabetes <laughs> <laughs> okay let's change that okay let's hear okay when you hear the word length cut what do you get in mind Yeah, does it uh, huh 
lens cart does it remind you of someone specs okay and the founder who formed lens cart right the face behind lens cart when you hear the word sugar i i am a big fan of vinita singh so now when i hear her name it is like vinita the shark tank judge and the also the founder do you also get when you hear the word what comes to your mind does amit aman gupta comes to your mind when you hear the word boat right so what i'm trying to share is personal branding there's a lot and lot of things in personal branding and i'm not going to bore you with the facts and statistics but what i'm trying to say is each of us whether we recognize it acknowledge it or not we are in some way standing up for something right you might be a student you might be a working professional you might be a coach trainer consultant entrepreneur but we all say something we all stand for something sometimes that you know how people view us it it becomes a mark a hallmark of trust right and would you or agree we first connect with people and then to products and services and everything else yes a yes found Hundred percent, hundred percent, right? If a founder, like when you let's take an example of, ah, uh, Ratan Tata. Now he himself is one of the best examples. He is the epitome of personal branding, I think. Because, and you know, do you feel a sense of trust when you buy Tata products? is there that ingrained integrity you feel that okay if this is tata means trust tata equals to trust the is it ingrained in your mind yes right and also do you feel that with certain personalities who are also associated with the groups and who are running the companies right and that's the power of personal branding for example when i took the name ratan tata certain emotions came to your mind you might have not known him personally you might have uh, not read his biography or anything but something triggered within you what is that that is he has done his job right as a personal brand he has set his position right that i am one entrepreneur that you can trust i build companies that stand for trust integrity and care awesome so now that so you know business is i believe only about four things okay i believe business is about just four things the first thing is uh it, you need a product or a service to sell right because if you don't have anything to sell it's not a business right so you need number one a product or a service second you need some kind of awareness branding right that's how we know uh, you know what what this stand this brand stands for what that brand stands for right you need some kind of awareness some kind of machine that tells people about who you are what you stand for what you do why you do and how you do that's the second part right that's your branding the third part is then actually you know once branding is done you have to create offers right diwali offer new year offer this offer that offer lots of offers coming in right you need to be really good at creating these offers and final can anyone tell me the final step after creating offer what what is that final step call to action yeah actually selling telling people hey come on buy this product buy this thing diwali like amazon has the biggest you know when does amazon has its biggest uh, uh, what do you say revenue numbers when does it hit right after he it has done some diwali sale or some new year sale why because of the kind of offers that are running but to the to the core of all of this do you feel that if you have a product let's suppose okay you also have offers 
you also have some selling mechanism but there is no like no way to you are putting that product out there you are not sharing it with people will it ever reach to your target market no not possible right and we also talked about just before this first people try to connect with you right first we buy the person and then we buy the product or the service or whatever so do you see how branding lies at the heart of every business and that's why companies are so serious about branding let's take the example of confident storytelling hub only haritosh has taken branding very seriously he has his uh, you know logo here and the you know all the things done that's also a very good example of branding okay right? these are subtle ways to tell your audience what you stand for who you are what you do and why you want to do right so i can go on and on talking about branding and how it is the heart of everything but i want to open the floor for questions so that i don't uh, you know i want to keep it very very interactive i want to i have a lot of questions i i always uh, ask my audience members to ask me as many questions as possible i collect them i also create some videos and things of that sort but i want to open the floor for questions so that you can actually uh, you know ask me some questions how to be a brand nice question how to be a brand so see brand has three elements to me okay first it is your persona like the image and even uh, this basically branding for me is two things who you are right if i am a branding coach people should view me like a branding coach they should not be confused about me right a lot of times some coaches what they do is they are doing so many things at one point of time that it confuses their audience that okay is she this is she that is he that so first of all who you are and how you want to how you want your people to view you those are the two things they should be in alignment and when they are in alignment and then you create that persona through your visual elements number 1 through your text number 2 see your design is your silent ambassador right so through your visual elements through your colors brand colors fonts and all of those things then second is your uh, you know the way you are sharing your content some people like doing a lot of videos some people like doing a lot of audios like how you are communicating so what i like to tell the first part is your design is like your dress what you are putting on it's like the dress that you are making your brand wear then the second is your copy copy is how you are communicating how you are speaking you are sharing your content and third is your very very important point that that is called your personality wavelength in the sense how you bring out different flavors of yourself to your audience if you're always uh, playing on certain emotions uh, then you're missing out on because i've seen a lot of people they gravitate towards only one type of emotion you, i i encourage people to share both their wins and vulnerabilities right so how to be a brand number one is who you are you need to be clear in your head and your audience how they view you that should be clear and again within your persona how you create your persona you have your visual elements then how you communicate how you share things about yourself and third is how you portray your personality how you play out on different emotions how you share the different parts of your personality to people that that is again very crucial I hope I was able to answer that, Ranjit. Are you happy with the answer, or do you have some follow-up questions or something? Okay, so I hope the question is answered. Okay, who wants to go next? Thank you, Ranjit. Who else wants to go? If you have any questions, like lots of people have lots of questions reg regarding branding. where should i build my personal brand how should i collect content ideas 
how should I, which platform I should go big on? Should I create podcast only or should I go for writing books or should I do a uh, amalgamation of everything? Okay, we have another question from Rajesh. Let me do. How to understand your customer better? Wow, this is a very fabulous question. Thank you, Rajesh, for asking this question. And I'll tell you a fabulous, fabulous answer today. Are you ready? Open yes. all your ears. <laughs> and there are only three things. Okay. I read a very beautiful book and that was on the subject only. How to, you know, you understand your customer better. And it said, the formula to understand your customer is just about three things. Talk to your customer, talk to your customer, talk to your customer. <laughs> And I talk a lot to my customers. I tell you that. <laughs> I talk to at least 20 to 40, maybe 50 new people every single day. I mean, I'm not doing it like as in every single day, there are days when my schedule is quite tight. I'm not able to, but I'm trying to create that touch point. And because of that, I've got some fabulous people in my network. So talk to your target market, talk to your target market. <laughs> talk to your target market nothing better than that i collect a lot of questions you know i have these notepads and i keep writing these questions uh, when i actually uh, uh, have these interactions with people and that's why i i can confidently say where where's that one thing with, where you know which is missing out or which which you need to tweak a bit a lot of coaches this is uh, Thank you. Thank you so much, Rajesh. Any follow-up questions? Any other questions that you have? Then I will give one very... I think Anushka uh, unmuted. So maybe Anushka also had a question. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, what I wanted to ask is, sometimes when you have to creatively express yourself, there is not one emotion. Like there are so many different kinds of things. So what I try to do is I like creating vision boards. So I try to visualize what type of, uh, what colors I want, what type of aesthetic do I want? Do I want stars, oceans or some, something like that? So, but uh, time comes when this is so broad that I'm not trying to put it in a single line. So, so personal branding, like it should be the same always or should it go like different? So what I'm trying to ask is if I choose different uh, themes, in the same project, will it shift the customer from personal branding or the, does the brand does not form or something like that? I mean, see, you're talking about your own brand, how you want to portray your brand uh, over different projects, something like that. Like you're working with different clients and how you want to project your brand or through those projects. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. So, I feel that this uh, this branding thing, I feel brand evolves with the, because see, brand evolves with the person. I started my journey as a public speaking coach back in the day. I did a lot of work there, you know, found some amazing, amazing work. But I evolved and evolved and evolved. And personal branding, I realized this is my thing. You know, I love, I mean, I use, definitely use uh, uh, the concepts of, all the things that I've used in the past. So my brand has evolved with time. So I think the vision at one point of time should be uh, one thing only because it can confuse your audience also. If you use too much of uh, creativity also, sometimes, you know, uh, it kind of kills your business because, you know, I, I, I'm reading books and when I read books and I find this thing that business is a very boring affair. You should try to make business as simple, as boring as possible. Definitely, I'm not saying, I'm not against innovation or anything. Like with time, you should innovate. You should actually try out new things. But if, let's suppose for this year, you should decide, okay, this is going to be my brand colors or this is going to be the theme of my brand or how I want to go about it. Does that answer your question? <laughs> you definitely evolve over time, but yeah. It does. Okay, awesome, awesome. awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Anushka, for that we question. We have okay. one last question from Sanjay. Yeah. 
Okay, awesome. How to collect content? Okay, and this I was about to come on this, and this is there is one hack that I found the very very hard way, but I have got a very good hack for this. So collecting questions for your uh from your target market, especially when you're beginning. I remember, you know, it used to be so hard. I used to go to Quora, ask the public dot com, and so many sites like Reddit here, there, all over the place. to just collect the questions but at times you know when i generated this questions i feel they were not so authentic in the sense they were not from real people and these were not some real concerns right but i found a better hack would you like to know the better hack the better hack is you follow the top 10 to 20 creators in your niche okay there might be people who would be at the top of your niche uh you can even follow 5 to 10 people whatever you are comfortable with go to the top notch people for example i am into personal branding so i will see who is at the top of personal branding so i know this influencer his name is jasmine alec and he and i we are connected on linkedin as well uh and he you know i follow him I, and i follow a couple of other people also so what i've seen is when you follow these creators and they post on your similar subject like i am into personal branding and i am following this person who is also into personal branding now he ha- he gets a lot of question asked every time he is posting something okay how to build a personal brand how to collect whatever he is you know posting people have lots of questions beneath his content section that is in the comment section and that is a gold mine for questions i tell you because these are real questions from real people having real problems was that awesome was it mind boggling different <laughs> so that's how you collect so make a content bank take all these questions keep collecting it and also i encourage you to ask your target market every time you know whenever i invite people to my own tribe also i always ask them okay why are you here what how can i help you what are the challenges you are facing so that ensures that i understand them better and i am able to serve them better thank you sanjay so avi i think the time is up right harito i think yes <laughs> okay thank you so much i would just uh share one document also with haritosh and i would share the um, link of my tribe if you feel if my points resonated with you and you felt that you know this could be something exciting for you i would just drop the link of my tribe abundant coaches hub which is all about personal branding organic lead generation so i'm going to drop it in the okay yep. while Pause. you are dropping that i would like to thank you ba for taking this amazing session on the topic be seen it was as always great to listen from you i have seen your journey i have seen your evolution and you're really doing some incredible work so thank you so much thank you so much haritosh for this amazing opportunity i am totally totally grateful to haritosh he is my first mentor and uh, you know first things are always very special you understand right all the first things in life they are very special so is my first mentor um uh, actually when i started my journey i literally asked him that please will you be my mentor and that time i was very scared i don't know I don't know this person whether he will say yes or no, but I'm so grateful that day he said yes. And uh, so far, there's no looking back. Uh, and we both have a very, I think, growth mindset. And I love, uh, you know, coming here due to the crunch of time. I'm not able to, uh, come here so often. But I try uh, to come back to the community as often as possible. And heartfelt gratitude to my mentor haritosh and all community members here who keep showing up every time there's something organized you guys are all growing and thriving and i love the energy of this community thank you taiva yes, yes uh, can i share something uh, haritosh yeah yeah please go ahead thank you okay so that was really great taiva the uh, the way you answered all the queries that was wonderful your tricks like talk to your customer talk to your customer talk to your customer was amazing and that's actually practical that's wonderful but yes i um, from the day like 
on i think on my first day when i joined this community you were there and i saw like there you shared your story and after that like yes i have been following you on your facebook but you are really doing a tremendous job that's keep rocking and keep shining wonderful thank congratulations you so much, rajesh thank you so much really appreciate your words awesome awesome so feel free to share your whatever document you got and link yeah i will just share the document as well thank you you are a giver so thank you uh, we are so fortunate to have so many givers in the community